A few months ago, I posted a video about a product commercial that I filmed for the brewery, and they recently reached out to me about another project, and I'm pretty excited to show you guys. They're releasing a new box of special beards that they brewed in collaboration with four different donut shops. They asked me to create two different photos for this project, but for this video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this photo. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that I like to shoot with black backdrops and moody lighting. But for this photo, we decided to take it in a totally different direction. The brewery really wanted this photo to pop, so instead of shooting on my standard black backdrop, we decided to shoot on a bright teal background that would contrast nicely with the pink donut themed box that I was going to be shooting. The box featured some pretty fun illustrations, which helped me draw inspiration on how I wanted to approach this photo. But before I even started shooting, I did a quick search on Google and looked up some donut photography, and what I came across was right down my alley. A lot of the images were of flying donuts with sprinkles on either a blue or teal background. So immediately my mind flew to how can I make this box explode with the beer cans and the glassware floating in the frame. I knew this was a possible concept, I just had to figure out my approach. So similar to my van shoot, I decided my best friend during the shoot would be a C-stand and some super clamps. Using them in a similar way, I gaff taped the box to the C-stand and used a super clamp to keep the box from sliding down the arm of the C-stand. And luckily the box stayed open pretty well on its own and it looked pretty natural, so I just rolled with it. Then to make sure I was lighting this one properly, I set one light up with a dome diffuser directly behind my box to light my background as well as add a pop of white to my backdrop. From there I set up my key light at about a 45 degree angle, then I added a third light to the left side to add a nice rim light to the box. After taking my first photo I noticed one issue, which was a super harsh light that was appearing on the lid of the box. Since I knew I was going to be compositing this photo, I took a white foam board and held it up right behind the box to block out the background light, which removed that harsh light from the lid. From there I detached the box and took a quick photo of me holding the box so that I could capture a clean slate of just the front panel so that I could remove the super clamp that was holding the box in place. The next thing I did from there was I needed to capture each of these cans flying out of the box. So using my C-stand and the super clamp to my advantage, I set up each can at various different angles, making sure to capture a photo of the front of the can and then the bottom, so that I can combine these two elements in post. And if you don't have a C-stand to hold your can, you can still make this effect work. I decided to take one of the cans and I just set it on top of another can to give myself a little variation, literally doing the same steps as before, and I achieved some great results. And now in this next step, this is where things got messy. So messy. As some of you may know from watching my videos, I love to do splash photography. So I knew I wanted to capture this glass with the beer flying out of them, so I decided to take my glass and I gaff taped it to the super clamp, and I just went to town with the splashes. But when a glass is at an angle like this, it makes it a little more difficult to capture a proper splash. But after many attempts, I'm happy to say I did capture some solid splashes. From there, I pretty much just needed to capture the donuts. And a funny story, or maybe even just kind of a weird one, when I went to go buy the donuts for the shoot, the dude at the donut shop just ended up giving them to me for free. I was so confused why he didn't want me to pay for them, I still have no clue why, but thank you so much for hooking it up and for your generosity. These donuts did not go to waste. So to capture these donuts, I placed them all onto a chopstick that was being held by my super clamp. Then I thought the best way to get as much variation with the setup was to shoot everything handheld. I could move around the donut and capture as many angles as I wanted to have different variations to play with in post. So now that all my photos have been taken, I can jump over into Photoshop and Lightroom and start compositing. I use Lightroom for all my basic color corrections and then I transfer everything into Photoshop. If you guys want to take a deeper dive into my editing process, make sure you check out my video on how I edit product photography. I'll make sure to link that video down below. But basically with this one, I started by cutting out my box and dropping it onto a clean shot of my background. This just allows me opportunity to fix or adjust my composition once I start dropping in all the cans and donuts. From there, I pretty much continue cutting out each can, the glassware, and the donuts 
helping with my composition along the way until I found something I was happy with. At this point, I probably could have called this edit done and moved on, but I felt like it needed a little bit more flair added to it. So I decided to go back and shoot some falling sprinkles to add in, and to me, this really tied the whole image together. I hope you guys enjoyed another behind the scenes look into another one of my shoots. I love to take photos like these, and I'm so happy I'm able to share my process with you guys. If you guys have any particular products you would like me to try shooting, let me know in the comments below. I'm always down to challenge myself and shoot something new, and if I can help you guys in any way, I would love to do that. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Your guys' support means the world to me. And to all of you who have been tagging me in your photos, I'm so stoked to see the work that you guys are creating. Let's go ahead and end this one by featuring some of your guys' work. I'll see you guys in the next one.